We cut to the party. Gabriella walks in. Troy walks in. They're all, you know, awkward. And we hear in the background this song. It goes like, I don't know. I don't know if it's a real song. I, you, I, you can't find the track for it anywhere. But it goes like, I want to be your everything. Uh, uh, uh. And Troy and Gabriella, like, this is where they're like, they walk in. And there's this guy in a, a red cowboy hat. Who, a big red cowboy hat. And he looks at Gabriella as she walks in, all like shy with her book, right? And he's like, howdy, ma'am. And I want to see a spinoff about Red Cowboy Hat Guy. Because there's this great shot right after. At While the karaoke guy is like, who's going to rock the house next? And there's an amazing shot of that guy on stage. The who's going to rock the house guy. Troy standing up by a, a, a pole, yawning to the on the left of the screen. And Gabriella on the right of the screen, sitting, reading her book. On this kind of like, you know, one of those big chairs, but she's not taking up the whole chair. She's just like sitting on the edge of the ch- the edge of the chair. And the guy with the red cowboy hat is sitting on the arm of Gabriella's chair, but like facing away from her. And it's not like he's sitting next to her. He's just kind of like trying to be like in her vicinity, sort of like trying to, you know, you, sh- you know what he's thinking. He's like, oh, this girl's cute. I want to think of a way to strike up a conversation with her and maybe she'll like me. But sadly, it was not to be for Red Cowboy Hat Guy. But the song ends. The karaoke guy hops on stage, all proud of himself. Red Cowboy Hat is nowhere to be found. You know what he probably did? He probably stole Gabriella's book that she like put down as she was dragged onto the stage and ran off with the book so that he could find her tomorrow and return it to her and be like, put an announcement in the, I don't know, Ski Lodge Bulletin be like, I found this book. Someone please bring it to me. But uh, fortunately for you, Red Cowboy Hat guy, even if that is what you did, looks like you missed your chance. Gabriella has no idea who you are. And honestly, you might not even remember that that book exists anymore. No, that's not true. She definitely remembers that book. But she definitely has no clue who you are.